Hello everyone. I'm back with another chapter of Geography, Class 7, NCRT. Chapter 6, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. So in this chapter, our main focus will be towards two broad categories. That is, the types of natural vegetation and the relationship between the height of the land and character of a vegetation. So I would like to put a disclaimer before we start this topic. Under the type of natural vegetation, we will be talking about forests. So if in case you haven't checked out my class 6th last chapter, that is chapter 8th about wildlife and vegetation, in that we have nicely covered about the various forests like tropical rainforests, tropical deciduous forests. So I recommend you should go back and check it out once. I'm going to put the link of that video in the description of this video. Just have a look at it. Let's start with forest. Now a place where there is good temperature and plenty rainfall, that is an ideal place for a forest to evolve. Now forests are nothing but a huge place covered with trees. Now depending upon how dense and open forests are grown, we divide the forest into different categories. Tropical evergreen forest. Let's break the words and understand what it means. Tropical, it is the region around equator or in between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Evergreen, it means it is green throughout the year. And forest, again, these three criteria should fulfill the requirement to be a forest which is area covered with trees a good temperature and plenty of rainfall so now you know the meaning of tropical evergreen forest a forest which is green throughout the year and that resides at the region around the equator the trees are so closely spaced that they do not allow the sunlight to come inside the forest during daytime. That's why trees like rosewood, ebony, mahogany are common here. And these woods also have a lot of moist in it. As I said, if the sun rays do not enter, the stem of these trees will have a lot of moisture in it. Basically, the water content. Coming to tropical deciduous forest. Again, let's break it down in each word and try to understand. You know the meaning of tropical and the word forest. Let's understand what is deciduous. The meaning of deciduous is, it's that point of the time where the leaves fall off the trees. It, it can be season like autumn wherein the leaves shed from the trees. You will find large part of such forests in the region of India, Northern Australia and Central America. The trees shed their leaves to conserve water because think of it this way, they cannot provide water to millions of tree leaves, hence they tell them to go away so that the stem, the wooden part of the tree can have all of the water. So some of the hardwood trees found in these forests are sal, teak, neem and sesium. They are extremely useful for making furniture, transport and construction materials. Now some of the animals that are found in these forests are tigers, lion, elephant, langoos and monkeys. Think of it this way, this is a dry sort of a forest and these kind of animals like to stay in dry area because they don't want to get wet in tropical evergreen forest because there is plenty of rainfall over there. So think of it this way, it will be easy to remember. The next kind of forest is the temperate evergreen forest. So again let's break it down into words and try to understand what it means. The meaning of temperate is the region between the Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle. Similarly, in the Southern Hemisphere, it's between the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle. So if you look at the map, you can see that region pretty clearly. These type of forests have both hard and soft wood trees like oak, pine, eucalyptus, etc. Now we have the temperate deciduous forest. Again, the meaning of deciduous and forest has been covered before and temperate is the same what we just learned few minutes back. So it is the region between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and in the Southern Hemisphere it is the region between Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle. The trees of these forests shed their leaves in the dry season. And the common types of trees are oak, ash, beech and the kind of animals that you can find in these forests are deer, foxes, wolves and some birds like pheasants, monals are found here. Now moving on to the next topic, Mediterranean vegetation. So again, let's try to break it down into words and see what it means. The meaning of Mediterranean is, it is the region near Mediterranean Sea. It is also completely enclosed by lands of Europe and Africa. And vegetation? Vegetation is nothing but plants considered collectively. They are called vegetation. So that is the meaning of Mediterranean vegetation. So here we are talking about collective plants that grow in Mediterranean region. So we are going to read about that. So the kind of vegetation found near the Mediterranean area consists of broad-leafed evergreen shrubs, bushes and small trees. And now the climate over here is hot, dry summers and mild, wet winters. Now this similar kind of environment can be found in the southwestern North America and and southern Africa and some part of the southwestern Australia. Now these places are famous for growing citrus fruits such as oranges, figs, olives and grapes. That's why you'll see a lot of vineyards in these places. And about wildlife, there isn't much wildlife here. 
Coming to coniferous forest. Again, let's break the word and try to understand what do you mean by coniferous forest. It is the region between 50 degree to 70 degree north latitude, which also lies between the frigid and temperate zone. And we know the meaning of forest. So that is what is coniferous forest. So we are going to talk about the forests that are there between 50 to 70 degree of north latitude. Now the region around these forests have cold, long, snowy winters and warm humid summers. The trees in these forests are evergreen and the wood of these trees are very useful for making pulp which, which is also used for manufacturing paper and other matchboxes. Now the variety of trees that are found in these forests are chair, pine and cedar. And by the way polar bear exist in these forests. With this we have come to an end of chapter 6. Let's, let's answer some questions and see where we stand. First question, which are the two factors on which the growth of vegetation mostly depends on? So actually I can give you three factors, but okay, let's just give three factors and see what they are. So the factors that are responsible for the growth of vegetation is moisture, temperature, and the type of soil. Second question, which are the three broad categories of na natural vegetation? Three broad categories of natural vegetation are forest, grasslands, and shrubs. Third question, name the two hardwood trees commonly found in tropical evergreen forests. So remember, we are talking about tropical evergreen forest. So these forests will have full of moisture and, and the wood are partially wet. So the answer is teak, rosewood. Fourth question, in which part of the world are tropical deciduous forests found? Tropical deciduous forests are found in India, Central America and Northern Australia. Fifth question, in which climatic conditions are citrus fruits cultivated? So remember the uh, topic when we were reading about Mediterranean vegetation. Mediterranean climatic conditions are good for citrus fruit cultivation. Sixth question, mention the uses of coniferous forest. The coniferous forest is useful for the trees that it has. The trees are good for using to make pulp, paper, matchbox, etc. Last question, in which part of the world is seasonal grassland found? Seasonal grasslands are found in a mid latitudinal region and also in the interior side of the continent. If you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And make sure you're subscribed, you'll get an alert when my next video comes or if you want me to make anything specific, do let me know.